Welcome back to another episode of Bush TV. Chilling with your boy Lindo Kanyosa. Today we've got a school lady in the house. School lady, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit of a name. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit of a name. First of all, tell us what school lady is. Um, school lady, So Baker is less different on a, on a weekly basis or daily basis? Uh, see, Baker is less different uh, on a weekly basis because it's uh, Baker in two days a week. Mm. Wednesday, Thursday. So, Gala, Wednesday, it's a beginning of Thursday, it's a beginning of Russia, but it's a way of sleeping in the team, it's a beginning of the team, it's a beginning of the team. Okay, and I hear you, 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 you have your own little side house on one side where you have to sell your cookies. I was just thinking, so as you say, we are going to have a store and we are going to have a store and we are going to have a store and we are going to have a store. So, did you visit Omnium Night and the Ati Banas and you? Did you pick it up? Did you pick it up? Did you pick it up and give it up? Well, okay, okay. According to the ingredients. The ingredients, okay. The cost of money is often the last. Well, okay, that's wonderful. So, in baking, you're not how broad in baking because is it just like the cupcake or is it the cake? So, is it long as it means it means because it's the corner of cupcakes, the basic cakes, the basic sweets, or the basic lunch cakes. Okay, almost you need to be quiet. And the side also pretty good, right? Yeah, things are bad, most of the school. Yeah, things are bad, most of the school. Yeah, things are bad, most of the school. 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 So, what do you do? Yes. 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 Um, they have managed a go water zero eight three three one twenty four twenty four eight. Now, email address them. We will see what you want to have them at gmail dot com. Okay, I can buy the gebadu. We have Fumana Apple, go water, and go Facebook. And we're back, guys, with Arco Green, founder and owner, Mr. Bule Laninjo. Good morning, Bule. I got Pile at that moment. No, we need the same thing. I tell my right now. Ah, good, I'm good. Thanks. So, Mr. Jobe, please tell us a bit about yourself. Who is Bule Lani? Okay, basically, Bule Lani is a local area in one of the first big townships in Cape Town, and then we have a local one malaga and the local one called the cleaning service. So we started off with the in cleaning service. And then from there, it is an escalator to air roof cleaning because we were using high pressure machines. 
and then from there, Smane sends the surveys, and we'll, we'll just try to find out for me clients that like um, what other services that they would want us to implement, yeah, and then that's when we later introduce like the yeah, apples and the uh, and so, uh, wow, wow, wow. so tell me, what is Oracle Green? How did it come about? Okay, so basically Oracle Green, the name itself, it means Oracle is someone that can foresee the future mm -hmm. and then green is an eco-friendly and environmental friendly color. So I decided to combine the two because I see a more cleaner and eco-friendly community. So we are color to have a Oracle Green. Wow, 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 big words, big words. And compared to where you started Oracle Green till now, how was that road to, to you know, up the ladder? How's that road up the ladder? How's the steps up the ladder? Been? Okay, so basically, it, I started off um, by being fully compliant when it comes to registration. That's when uh, you register your company, ACIPC, mm -hmm. and uh, you get TBE certificates and uh, other documents that you might need to, to kind of like assist you to establish more business opportunities in the near future. Uh, so, yeah, I need to be fully compliant. And then at, at the same time, I uh, start and uh, that's a student as well. At a, a South African Institute for Entrepreneurship. So it's kind of like my way of combining with you in the practical to get better results and um, yeah, make you prepare for all eventualities. Wow. And where is Oracle Green now? Okay, so basically, Oracle Green is um, based in Lara. However, we do cover the entire of Cape Town uh, based on Bas, Phone, and So you guys are mobile? Yes, we are mobile and then we do cover. They are, they are the entire of Cape Town, as well as Chino, and then we go to the to the household or the commercial place to give quotations and we take it from there. Wow. So you say we, you got, a, you got a team, right? Yes, of course, because um, that's also one of another core reasons why the Oracle Big Green began is to kind of form of um, create employment and uplift um, the use of uh, Balan as well. Also, you really don't doing good for your community. And where do you see Arco Green in the next couple of years with, you know, from where it is now, from, you know, coming where it began, where do you see it going? Okay, so basically uh, the future vision is that Oracle Green to accommodate the entire of the Cape Town and uh, franchise to other nearby areas and creating employment at the same time with various um, places that we're going to be working on. So expanding business and making sure that uh, we grow to greener pastures, I guess. Yeah. Greener pastures, I love it, I love it. Oracle Green, greener pastures. Yes, sir. So where can people get a hold of you? Where can people reach of you? Okay, so um, we do have a, 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 a WhatsApp um, number, which is um, 061-647-7981. And then uh, you can find us on Facebook as well, on Oracle Green and Instagram and Twitter, which is Oracle Green SA1. So, so please tell that to the camera so people can hear. Okay, um, so the WhatsApp number is 062-647-7981. And then on Facebook, you can find us on Oracle Green. Instagram, Twitter, it's Oracle Green SA1. So oh, man, thanks for coming through, man. Much appreciated. Love it. And we're back, guys. Now we're sitting with Zoe Molelekwa. Mr. Zoe, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. I'm good, I'm good, my man. So, Zoe, tell me, you're a jazz artist, right? Yes, I'm a jazz pianist. Please tell me, you're a jazz pianist. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Tell me where that all started, please. Tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, so, I'm Zoe Molelekwa. I'm a 24 year old pianist. I come from a musical background. My father, as many as people might know, is Moses Mulelekwa and he was a pianist and so that was my first experience of actually seeing um, music being played, hearing it and, and seeing what goes into it and my first experience was actually very interesting because as a child when I was introduced to music I had a lot of energy and my father tried to teach me the piano but I couldn't grasp what he was trying to teach me so I banged the piano and he'd say no, 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 just learn this song and then I started being a drummer from that point on. And then my parents passed away and I was six when that happened, but I was doing music at school, the recorder, you know how most students start the recorder, going to a little violin, 
on two sets of four. And then I, I unfortunately stopped um, doing music or taking lessons in any instrument when I was in my fifth grade primary school. So for all that time until I matriculated, I just basically had to focus on the books and I loved reading. So that, that was something that still stimulated my my mind and my creativity. I still had times when I touched the piano, but it wasn't so serious until I finished high school and then decided that I was going to this. Why jazz? Why out of all genres, why jazz? It's it's because of what jazz means. It's, it's it's more than just music. It's really an expression. And I mean, if you look at our country and the kind of role that jazz music has played, I mean, there's a legendary drummer that would be small, uh -huh. who actually comes from Guadalajara and he, I had a conversation with him the, the last time he was in Durban and he was telling us about how it's so difficult to be here in this time now and he's the only one from that era which was pre-1970, 1960. Just now, so <laughs> All the musicians that he played with have, have passed away, most of them were in exile even when that happened and he was just talking about how the reasons why we play music are so different for them then it was a form of not really rebelling but it was a form of fighting against the expressing your feelings ex expressing feelings but more than that fighting against i mean mamile makeba's voice was was a symbol of hope it was a form of fighting against the repression that that we experienced as a country so music really plays an even bigger role and for me jazz being the kind of expression it is where you have the freedom to improvise but obviously improvise knowing what you're doing, not just playing whatever you do, but it's like taking life experiences and just trying to articulate them as honestly as possible through music or wow. And do you do you still remember that feeling when you first made your first first song and you were like, okay, cool, this is what I'm doing, this is, this is it, this is, I'm, doing, I'm a jazz artist from now on? Yeah, I, well, the first time I ever wrote a song, that was very playful because I think my younger cousin would remember that I wrote a song because I'd just woken up with my girlfriend. Okay, I'll yeah. bring it up. <laughs> but um, on a more serious note, when, when I first it's like my first composition. I went to music school as oh, well. Okay. After oh, you did, after you did, you did. At you went to KZN. At KZN. At Howard College, yeah. Okay. Which is one of the best um, music schools in South Africa. And it has the best music library in Africa as well. So the information is there. And when I wrote my first song, it was, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's something that you're never really satisfied with. I mean, I felt happy, but you just feel like there's so much more that, that can be put into it. It's, it can go so much further. So it's writing a song and, and being a musician, it's, it's just a process of trying to be better, just as much as you try to be a better person, you know, you try to live uh, a, a good better life, life, you know, a good life, honest citizen. Yeah, so I can't really say it felt this way because it might have felt that way then, but writing a song now and even the inspiration behind the song is it's, it's never the same thing, so the feeling is never the same. It only this grows gets better. gets better. Yeah. And how's the feeling now? How's the feeling now with the music you make now? It's it's amazing because I've I've had to go through quite a bit to get to where I am now and I've just come off of my you can consider it my first really big tour. Because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is your first I, tour, man. I'm not going to consider it. It is your first big tour. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I played, I played around with a couple of musicians. I had um, been mentored by a lot of great musicians from home. Bob Tim and Kieze, <laughs> African Kieze, um, Salim Washington, who taught me at school. And through those experiences of playing their music and also just getting an understanding of how, what it actually means to be a musician, I think that helped me prepare better for the process that I was going to be you know, finding myself in where I wanted to share this music that I've written for so many years now with people and obviously you have to collect yourself as, as, as a musician because when you're independent as well you have to 
do your own bookings, you have to be accountable for not only yourself but even the musicians that you play with. So it's it's a really, really big role to to have and to have a successful tour the way that I did. I played venues that have been played by many great musicians, international and local. And the reception that I got from the people was, was very overwhelming. Many people came to me asking, do you have a talk about? And when I said no, they were so disappointed. Yeah, so that's my like, next question. Yes, yeah, you know? Yeah, but it's just, you, you're always trying to get the perfect sound. And I think that's very difficult, you know, because obviously times change and you're also trying to reflect those times. So it's, it's, it's a challenge, but there is an album that will be coming. I just can't say when. And I will be working with a lot of great musicians, young and old, cross collaborating um, in different genres. I'm going to be meeting Mahmoud Hussein for the first time uh, tomorrow, so I look forward to gaining something from there and seeing what I can add into my music. I'm trying to also have my music be very deeply rooted in the African sound and have something that I can say represents where I come from. With what you've done now, where can we see you perform? Where can you see Uzo Malalewa? What can you expect from him next? You know, besides the album? Um, I think what, what can be expected next are uh, just a range of performances. I'm trying to go into different kinds of collaborations with visual artists, um, with other musicians from other genres. So it's, it's still very much in the planning processes at the moment. But my music is up on SoundCloud, some of it, and on YouTube as well for now. But my website is under construction, so once that's up and running, other than the social media platforms, everything will be, will be put up on my website from the live performances, especially all the stuff that I've archived from when I started playing to this tour that I've just finished now. So this week I'll actually be putting out most of the footage and the live recordings from that. Wow, how well, can people get you on social media? At Zoe Mulelekwa on Instagram and it's just Zoe Mulelekwa on Facebook as well as on Twitter. Can you say that with more, you know, more power than you say to the camera right there? That is Zoe Mulelekwa on Instagram, Facebook and on Twitter. Thank you guys, you heard that. Guys, thank you for watching another episode of Bush TV. Thank you to Smulele, thank you to Mulelani and thank you Mr. Zoe for coming and sharing your story with us. Kunkulu, Nulam T, Winyanawa Samai Hain, Umkulu, Opalum Bulum Kobunzu, Tilum Belelo and Alum Shab and Obukunkani Bamazu, Dimbali Om to the Kuksuka Wisum Kulu, the Kuksuka Kubo Munga Pagati Libulu, the Kukwesha Bulungi Sakus Salus Pizu, the Kukalakan Fazo Tosa Meleon Perfumu Nu, the Kuksarok and Kosana, and Utanu Kakul, the Tears of Nula, Ebeni Bay in Tawales on his Nezu Zand, his Nigel Ban, Mrs. Sulus on Kobopuma. Back to the Kunyali to the Shout out. Respect. <laughs>